Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 447. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and well, welcome to the new year. Welcome to the first episode of 2021. I am your host, Roman Sanzo, and well, <laughs> there's nothing much to say, but yeah, we're starting in the new year with a bang, I hope. Uh, last year was pretty sucky, uh, was really not the best, but let's just hope that this year would be awesome, built with greatness and positivity. We could really use that in our life right now. But anywho, let's just hop right into the news and see what we have. Um, spoilers, it's just the one. <laughs> so, um, Kirin Rice invades Indonesia with Autumn Breeze as a mascot. So, um, let's see what this. Um, nothing much to be said about this one, but uh, okay. A company over in Indonesia is apparently producing kitten rice with autumn breeze as the mascot. You can see her on the label. <laughs> uh, on the label in various images, the actual art was originally created by. TCN back in 2018. I'm going to check that out for a bit. Uh, either someone is a fan of ponies or they just grabbed the first cartoon Kirin that popped up on whatever search they use over there. Update. Uh, change location for correct country. Ah, I see. Okay. Uh, it looks like Seth messed up. <laughs> so, okay. Let's, let's look at the picture first because when this popped up on my feed on the Facebooks and whatnot, I was like, wait, what? That's not, that's not right. So, um, it's, it's just normal uh, rice. Uh, let's see, used before. Oh, wow, that's expired. Okay, um, uh, Kirin Bras Pandan Wangi. It's just rice. Like, if you know rice, you know rice. But, man, uh, the the logo. Yep, is, is this one? Mm-hmm, is this one? But, wow. <laughs> like, uh, is there a watermark? I think so. Is it? Or is this just lens flare? Could be lens flare. But, no, like, wow. What? what? <laughs> Why? I mean, why? There's, hmm. There's nothing much I can say about this because, okay, um, we've seen this happen on clothes toys where, uh, Chinese manufacturer goes to Google, search for image and print it out because money. And yeah, um, it's logical. Uh, we've seen that with, Certain bootleg toys, certain bootleg shirts and whatnot for the kitties. But this one, this is one of those head scratching moments where this is not even toys. This is just like, uh, over here in Southeast Asia, we eat rice every day. So rice is our bread and butter. So having a company Name Kirin and just grabbing the first art you can see, that's very questionable. And at the same time, too, you have to wonder, like, if Hasbro is pursuing legal actions on this, the company is going to be in some deep trouble because... uh. Hasbro has the right to halt all productions, all, all distribution production and make a callback for their product. And that means the rice there would have been, well, spoiled and whatnot. And, oh, that, that, that's just food going to waste. That's not great. Other than that, um, the rice is at 66,500 rupiah. And uh, I've calculated it, and it's about five bucks minimum. Yep. So, yeah, <laughs> I can't say much because this is one of those hit scratchers. Like, 
Why? Oh, boys. But <laughs> we start out the new year with some fun. <laughs> oh, boys. But <clears throat> that's the news for this week. I, I know it's pretty short. I tried looking for more and there ain't much more for the new year. Besides conventions not happening because of the pandemic still going on. Um, well, good news is for people in the United States, our vaccines are rolling out, so that's good. And yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how it goes further on. I, I, I do hope that uh, everybody is vaccinated and the pandemic will be a thing of the past. But knowing us and our luck, we'll just have to wait and see. But anywho, uh, let's move on to the next topic. And next topic is what have I been doing for my week? Well, in all honesty, I haven't been doing much. Um, celebrated New Year with friends and family, probably. Like just online and stuff. Just saying hellos and having good food. That's about it. And what I mean by good food is just pizza, pizza. That's about it. Uh, other than that, um, haven't been playing much games. Oh, one thing I did do is that I've seen a bit of the new Animaniacs and it was not bad but it feel like they were really going ham with pop culture like that is one of those things I noticed that mm, not really pop culture but like they're they're really going with the times like a lot of current events kind of thing that will get tired when the show goes on later on it just feels that way for me but all in all it was not bad it was a fun show i still have more to go and catch up uh, other than that movies you know wonder woman 84 is out still need to catch that one so yeah that's gonna be a fun watch when i get a chance to see it and what else yeah magic the gathering that's about it <laughs> but other than that i, I don't see any else we'll just have to wait and see because once the theaters are open and once things are close to normal we'll get to well we'll get how do I put this we'll get to live life as normally but let's head on to the well end so if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at thembsugmail.com. And you can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. I think I'm not close enough with this. You have to let me know how do I sound. <coughs> Sorry. So let us see. Uh, yes. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also Stitch Radio and also... Um, like our Facebook page. You can also get us on ponyvalive.com. Links will be in the show notes. Uh, if you please do support the review and discussion podcast available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Uh, over there you can catch me, Silver Quill, and Totera reviewing the pony episodes, comics, and well, specials. Sometimes we like to do other things other than the ponies. And those will be comic games, movies, and so on. Uh, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MPS show. With every support, you get a, well, you get exclusive, uh, deleted content. And let, let me take that back. Let me take it back. Um, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me, uh, talking about the thank yous. Thank yous. I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, my stuff like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. Um, I, I hope you guys who are new to this or really love our content do support us on the Patreons. It really helps me a bit, even a dollar. So anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya!